On this channel, I generally cover some of the cheapest budget options around, such as the CM Tech microphone at $15 and the Zach Sound Mic at $20. But today, I will be covering a microphone that is considerably more expensive than either of those two. At around $80 US dollars, the Maono PM421 is a USB plug and play condenser microphone that also comes with everything else you'll need for a pretty decent audio setup in the box. But does this microphone justify the higher price? And can it replace my Neewer NW700 setup as my daily gaming microphone? For full transparency, I was refunded for the cost of the microphone, but all thoughts and opinions are fully my own, and I have full creative control over this review. This entire review is also being recorded on the PM421, so feel free to judge the audio quality for yourself before I discuss it in depth. Let's begin with exactly what you get in the box, which includes a windscreen, pop filter, two cable ties, scissor arm, a 10 foot USB 2.0 B to A cable, a shock mount, desk clamp, and finally, the microphone itself. Everything you need for a complete microphone setup is included, and everything that is included is appreciated. No cost has been spared or wasted here. The first thing you'll notice once everything is out of the box is the fantastic build quality of everything that is included. The microphone itself is entirely metal with no plastic to be found, and the stand is noticeably nicer than its newer niece with locks on every pivot point. The pop filter holds its place and attaches to the scissor arm securely while blocking out all of the plosive sounds I could throw at it. And the shock mount too is metal and is pretty standard as a budget option. I would avoid the windscreen unless actually in a windy environment as it does slightly negatively affect audio quality and a braided USB cable would have been a nice improvement. But the length on the included cable is very welcome. Physically, the microphone has a nice matte black finish and a tasteful Mauno logo. And the only things that clutter the body are a mic gain dial, which feels nice to turn and a capacitive mute button that can sometimes be difficult to hit but it's nice to see in the first place. As far as usability, this microphone is great. Entirely plug and play on both Mac and Windows, and the clamp is pretty universal as long as you have an overhang of some kind on your desk. That said, I rarely buy a microphone based on its build quality, so how does this microphone sound? Well, before I share my thoughts, here's a direct comparison first between this mic and my standard voiceover microphone, and then against the newer NW700. You have a choice of oysters or poi. Sheep shears should be sharp. At her leisure, she used rouge to camouflage her features. There's your cue. The curfew is due. It was the student's duty to deliver the Tuesday newspaper. An extended comparison is available in the description. While sounding decent, this microphone removes most of the treble from my voice, which results in a more bass-heavy and muddier sound than I would prefer. Don't get me wrong, I love a warm microphone with a radio voice just as much as the next guy, and the Shure SM7B is my dream microphone, but the PM421 lacks the clarity and crispness that other microphones, including my newer NW700, provide. So what's my conclusion? Does this microphone justify its price? Well, for the most part, probably not. While the build quality and included accessories are fantastic, the audio quality just isn't up to par. And if you're looking for the best bang for buck audio quality, then the Neewer NW700 kit for $40 is definitely the way to go. It's a bit difficult to set up, but its sound is unmatched. However, if you're looking for a plug-and-play, one-stop audio solution, things get a little bit more complicated. Between this and a blue snowball, I would pick this microphone any day for its combination of a complete audio setup in the box, as well as superior build quality and audio quality. Without a doubt, you are picking ease of use, build quality, and aesthetics over sound quality with this microphone. Whether or not that's a trade you're willing to make is up to you, but as for me, I'll be going back to my Neewer mic.